Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? You too, how you doing? This is your boy, Class Moss, uh, 4K Tech. I want to talk with you about RS-16 Beta 3 and my review on it, and then some of the devices. Now, Beta 3 is one of the best saver uh, for your device, for all your devices, because the battery life is good. Uh, the lock screen is excellent. If you did not see part one, of my video, please tune in because I only talk about the customer of the lock screen. And I also talk about some of the features that I have on customized on my lock screen. So I don't want to get that in my so right here I want to talk with you more about my own opinion by RS sixteen and how it been holding up for the whole time of month uh since I put East Beta in. We gotta talk about beta one beta 2 and beta 3 in my experience on losing it as a dividable. Now, the public beta is out as well, so if you don't have the public beta, I would suggest you to go out and get the public beta um, and stuff there on beta 1. I'm waiting for beta 4 to come out for the dividables options, so we are waiting for that to come out. So I just want to give you my thoughts and my honest opinion about, and they're just keeping it one percent real. I want to give you my honest opinion on RS system and what device have it and what device do not have all the features. Bell and real so I have to keep it one percent real. D two is the only true one. The second generation of iPhone SE, iPhone thirteen Pro iPhone X. Uh, I feel like the iPhone S is the only one it's not having all the bell and whistle when it comes to our S16. And, and a couple of features is missing on here that I wish they could bring to the table. Um, I can name some of them. You, got, you don't have the new lock screen with the depth effect on here, that one. You don't have um subject copy like you can copy your person for off the picture and you can lift the person for off the picture and so and then in little treating stuff in there now you do get some of the feature on the iphone x like the undo erase send masses you can add it and that basically it that i noticed uh you get the new lock screen with all the uh, new features with the lock screen, only the lock screen, but and like and not too much cool features on here that uh, a whole bunch of people will not be happy about. And that just keeping it one percent real and honest. If you're on the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, and the iPhone 10, I am sorry you're not truly getting RS 16 on on those features. You might get the bell and whistle, like some features is there for y'all. And so, so I keep it once and real. Uh, that is my first dislike. And so, getting you the honest truth. And so, I have to keep it real. You're not getting all the cool features that you get on D2. Okay, so uh, let's give you my thoughts and my honest opinion. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you can have my good and you can also have my bad. So far, I will talk about my bad on this device. And so D2, I don't have too much to talk bad about it. But uh, with Beta 1, when Beta 1 first came out for this device, for the iPhone 13 uh, Pro, uh, I had a whole bunch of bugs. I talking about literally lots of bugs. Lot screen was turned to black. It was freezing up. It had to force restart a couple of times. Uh, when I tried to obey the two, when I tried to load in beta three, an instant just literally like on here, living on beta two, and beta two was stable. I'm not gonna lie, but in when I updated that, when beta two really so off in goodbyes. So when I tried to um, update it, I did the update, I downloaded the update on here. And then out of the blue, uh, when it was tried to install, the phone literally 
had just stopped, like literally stopped. Uh, it started and it said I had to go to iTunes, so I had to restore this phone back to the bit of the ISO version was RS 15.5 and stuff. So that sucks for me where I had to do that. Uh, that I had to reload back RS 16 beta 3 uh, developer arcs back on there. I was not planning to get the beta or public beta. I was not interested in the public beta. I was more interested in getting back my developer auction back on this device. <sighs> okay, so it, another thing I want to talk to you about um, about beta 2. Beta 2 had a whole bunch of heat issues. I'm talking about the phone was so hot, not even funny. And then the battery drain was really not good on RS1 and RS2 was all right, but it could knock down my battery percentage to 95, but I had it on 100. Now I already had this on 100. The battery thing hit really bad. So um, I didn't know it's after doing that on purpose, but that is my negative uh, respect on that. Okay, so the SE, um, it only crashed one time for me on beta 2. After that, it has not crashed since. Uh, beta 3, it's been really good on our S16. So let's get started with this. So this is one of my favorite devices. I got to put this device on here. Let's talk about the iPhone 13 because the iPhone 13 is one of my favorite devices. And so, so you can see some of the uh, features. So I want to walk you through some of the features that they have not missed at all. So let's do one, two, three. Okay, so you have this new feature where uh, Live Capture control near devices. Test and control, these two are the latest new features on our SSC that you can easily control your own devices by losing RS-16 um, on him. Now, I don't know where really it worked for my iPhone SE, my first generation iPhone SE. I have not tried it yet, but I hope it do work. So I got to try the SE second generation right here. And I have the option to go back home. And it took me back home. I got an option to open up this. Let's go back home. I got an option right here to turn on Siri. Talk Siri. I could turn on my control panel. I can open this. And then you got to add some more. If you're doing a new set, if you want to do some new set, you got more features with that. So that's the first two feature that I noticed with this. So. Um, and that's something that I really like a lot when it comes to that. Uh, that one cool feature. Another feature that most people is excited about is when you go into your test masses. Uh, when you go into your test masses, your test masses is very important. Um, inside, so see that you've seen it somewhat in masses. Now, right here, for some reason, for my test mess, you know, my phone so it's on. For us, oh, I disconnected. it. But if you want to send someone a test money, you could. And so with that, and you could either erase, erase it on here and it so as an eraser. But whenever you uh, do some tasks, you got this feature that subject um, color off of person. Right here, I tried a couple applications that which one is the best. So may get you um, subject copy off of posting. So let me go into my lock screen, my wallpaper. So let me um, give you a, a couple examples of it real fast. So let's take me. So I could either cut this off right here. And I want to show you a couple applications do the exact same thing like this. Only difference is you don't need no party apps so to copy subject off the picture. So I could either go right here. Save the image, and this is one way of doing it. 
This is one way. Now, I always try to look at the edge to see how clean it looks. And you can see that it did mess up right here. It's not perfect, but I hope on the next beta that they fix that error. And they fix, uh, fix it and make it more better and improved. So uh, that is one. Now, I got to show you another one. Now, in shop is something that I like to lose right here as well. And whenever I go on in shop, let me go to my gallery. And you see, can I find that exact same picture? Let me see. Where you at, brother? Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, so Insta is one of my favorite one. Let me say no fame. Um, right here, let's hit this. Right here, inside instant cut it off just like that. Just instant. And, and like the ads attaching on here is really great. So let go right here. Let's say this. This is one feature right here. Do that as well too. Um, another one is and this something that I already lose right here. So we try instant. Let look how that look. And you can see that it did a good job. It did a really great job. Like I really pressed to see how well a set right. Okay, it did a good job. Um okay, so it really did a really good job. Now my favorite one is boom. Yeah, I go into the boom right here. This will instant cut it off as well. If you want to lose this as a feature, all that you have to do, go right here, it will instant cut off. So um that feature right here, all that you have to do is save. Say image. Let's see how that look. So right here, I think this one is the best one. We can kind of give you a little more sharper right here when it comes to the edge. Uh, very sharper and very clean and easy cut. So I like well how they did it right here. But if you pay attention to each one of them, you begin to see how good uh, the sharpener is on that one. This little soft right here. Right here, I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's very soft. Right here, that apple. Apple cut around the lines right here, and you can see that right here that is not perfect when it comes to the apple. Apple just got lots of work to do. Uh, they will fix that part in the next update, but the ass attachment is good when it comes to apple. It depends on what picture is really great and what picture. So, that feature right that I really like about RS uh, system so far. Another feature that I want to talk to you about is not only that included like that, but you also got a feature with RS 16 when it comes to uh, your weather. So when it comes to the weather application, you got a cool feature with the weather uh, icons right now. So uh, you can see the animation. So you that it is sunny. It's 91 degrees um, on here. So yeah, in my Amy folder. So right here, you have the um, new day, like you can look for each week, like tomorrow go high, this go low. So you can see the difference once you begin to look at it and you can tell that um, it just got lots of features on here with the weather application. You can see the highs, the low. Oh, this is the part that I try to show you. So this is now. You see the everything on here, the winds and stuff on RS with the weather. You can see the highs. So it's really very hot today, very hot. And so, so that's such for us. <laughs> but he bring us back the rain. I take the rain any day. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Okay, but um, yeah, you can see how it look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, when it comes to cinematic uh, picture on a video, they did approve the camera on the cinematic mode. So, it gives you a better 
include voter uh, broker effect, uh, portrait picture or video that way you caught it, and it give you a better uh, result if you look right here. If we go right here, you can see how clean that look right there. Look at the edge. Look how nice and sharp and clean on the edge. So that is something new that they have bring to the table. And so, so that is new. Another thing, and when you go into project picture, they have this as well. It's new on here. So that is a new feature that they fix with the broker effect on both sides the cinematic and uh, uh broken on that that also do it with all the iphones as well too so uh you not have to worry if you got this on here uh it will work much better now the new feature that they have bring to the table is family share so you can share your live baby right here you got an option to click it on right here or you can't see that right there you got an option right here to Go right here at the end and you can talk, enable it right here if you want to get it inside. So this is my opinion. So once you go into the settings to set everything up, all they got to do go straight into the settings. Go to your picture gallery. Right here, go to photos and set it up. You can set it up right here through iCloud or you can set it up right here. Now, when you go to your gallery, um, I got my have set up right here already. So what I have right here is right here with the notch. You can lose family share or your personal. You may already see too that your family share and you is personal right here. It's for you. And you can see uh, with the family share and only 50 something things that I share on here. So that is um, a feature that I like really love a lot another feature that uh, most people don't really talk about on our s16 and i noticed when it comes to the new set application so in a whole bunch of new features on the new set application let me show you what i'm talking about um okay so you got a new feature on the new set application you know i don't i don't premiere of it or i'm not paying money but if I go right here, you do get a new widget on RS 16, on RS 16. So uh, when you're playing the new set, let me cut it down for copyright reason. Uh, whenever you're playing the new set right here, let me play this. And I cut this off. Now you get the cover art right here. That's just something new right there. But, uh, the thing that they miss on here that I hope they bring or they fix on the next beta is a volume control. We need a volume control to over to uh, listen before we go to slide. And so, but uh, you're able to broadcast this to your TV. If you got a TV or near other nearby device, you can broadcast it. And so, but this not only work with uh, this, this also work with third party application. So e sound. So I want to go into listen to e sound something with my new set player right here. Then my main new set player. I don't really lose the Apple new set at all. I really don't uh, because I don't have to worry about they cutting it off or stopping it. I just don't lose Apple new set for some reason. I just don't care about Apple new set. Yes, Apple new set got really good on uh, bass, but this is much better than Apple new set because it gives you the same thing. What Apple offer and give you um auto tune and everything. So say I want to play this cover out right here. Get on wait. Give me a moment, guys. Okay, so with this, you know I can play the cover out right here. Uh, you can see the cover art playing right here, right here. Uh, you get that same cover art right here. And you want to knock it down, you get it right here. And that is something I was hoping that in do work for those party applications. If you want to listen to music, I lose this. This I always lose. This right here. Uh, it looked really great 
when you have this type of features on him. And Apple really step up their game and did that. Not only that, but if you're on YouTube, on the web, YouTube, you're able to listen to um, this. And then not a third party application. But if you want to um, memorize this or do what you need to do, you get the option to step right here and you get able to slide this down on YouTube now. Uh, and knock that down. And knock that back. And you can slide this down right here. Now, it will supposed to be a player right here. But the trick is if you go on, uh, and I found this trick out right here. Most people are not talking about it. But you hit this and you connect this to your TV right here. It should automatically uh, lock into your TV once in front of your TV. And so once it hit on your TV, then it will instantly lock. It's not lock on because my TV is off. But it will be a player right here. will appear like this. And so, so I want to keep that in mind. Um, but so far, in more features on here, I'm not able to talk to you about. These are some of the features that I I found that is really great for me. Um, like in lots of new features and settings. Um, like I say, like different icons. One of my favorite features that I really love is live, um, live capture. And live capture is my favorite. They have to change up the icon for live capture right here. And you go into live capture, you get this new feature to turn this sucker on. And you get this nice, beautiful ring right here. Then you get the icon. I like the mask ring. It comes to YouTube for some reason. I just like to listen to YouTube and cut this off. And I could go right back and then cut this off. This and not this. And I could listen to YouTube and when like catch it, it's on and tell you what you're watching right here. Instant. And I just love that feature right here with like catch it. Really great to see how this will catch up really live and it takes really good. Another thing I like is you can full size it and you can literally just sit down and watch or you can say how you're doing. What's up? This is Lee. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It takes time to process. And this worked really good. I I don't know why it was screenshot it, but let me take a picture. <laughs> I'll get this camera working. Okay, so when you do a live catch up for some reason, Apple do not allow you to uh, take the picture. Like screenshot it for some reason. Apple do not like your screenshot. Uh, I don't know why it's that, but Apple do not like you to screenshot at all. So you can see the tests keep going, going inside. So that is something that I truly could say I like about this. So yeah, live capture is the way to go. Like I really it did a better job than Samsung. Uh, live catcher or Google live catcher did they a way better job and I think a whole bunch of people love RS 16 because of what it got bring to the table um in more features on here hidden features that uh, most people don't really know about so I'm not gonna go all into the feature or go deep in a feature I want to bring you some of the features that I really think is very cool that I like inside so um, oh, another thing is this. Let me see. Um, whenever you go into the phone call, let me go right here. Um, the new phone call got this new feature right here. I really like what they had done with this and how to organize. This is what I've been asking Apple to do for years. This is a bigger feature for me because I like to organize. Another feature that I forgot to mention um, on here, if I go right here, um, is the new lock screen right here with the new feature. So this right here, hidden feature, is locked. Um, garbage feature, is locked. So when people try to look into your garbage, um, they can literally try to see what they have on here. So 
that feature is a lot. I really happy way how they set this up. So when you go into the gallery and someone tries to get into your phone, they need your face ID or your ID to order to go in your your personal masses. So you know Apple had it for years, but they I feel like Apple already missed that feature uh to really clear. Now right here, when I first got this uh right here, other uh when it comes to hidden features a uh, lot. Now when you cut this off, you gotta ask for your ID. So right here, once you turn this on, make sure you're a good example. Say that I cut this off. Uh, you try to cut it off and not gonna work without your face. Um, and that feature that I happy that Apple had done, that is not there. Another feature that is brand new is when it comes into the Wi-Fi. When you look at the Wi-Fi right here, let me see. On the Wi-Fi, now you're able to edit your passcode right here. And it will do the exact same thing with the passcode. So that is something new as well too. So. That is a feature. You can copy the passcode and paste it to a different masses. When it comes to uh, other stuff, I will talk about those in a part three video. I should just do some research. So I thank you for watching. And I will see y'all on the next video. Um, but same thing like I said before, um, the phones to do it. Now, for a bonus video, uh, before I say this try, I want to give y'all a tip. Anyone who have this device right here, uh, the iPhone SE or iPhone 8, make sure you are, what y'all need to do in case y'all need to go into the lock screen. So say you lock the screen and you try to access the new lock screen feature. It took me for two betas to figure that out. And so, so uh, back then I was doing this like, okay, why this not working? Why I'm not able to grab it? And because the lock thing is on, so whenever you see the lock thing is on, that means you can't access it. So what you have to do, access it off, then slide it down, then do it like this, and then you can access it and stuff. So that little tip in case you don't know about that um, feature in case. Now, D2 is different because you don't have to worry about D2. Um, this will instant do what you have to do. But um, at the same time, I think a whole bunch of people will love this new, brand new feature that they is doing uh, with Apple. So I really can't wait to see RS 16 official come out in September. And I know a whole bunch of people will love it in September or it might come in October. So one of those months. But I can't wait to officially see that feature come out. And a whole bunch of people will love the new version of RS 16. Um, like, I always like the two negative things I wish they could have done is this with the icons. If they could change the icon, that'd be really great. Another feature that I'm hoping on iS 16.1 is they change the icon and get us native icons, toggles, the toggles right here, but native icons. That'd be really good if they bring that feature on iS 16.1 or later in the future. So, like I really want to see them feel though the only two things I asked for in split screen. Though the main three one I asked for. So please subscribe on my channel. Uh I gotta try to make more videos out here for you guys. And I will see y'all on the next video. And please subscribe. Like it or dislike it. It doesn't matter. I will still love you. Peace.